Good morning. Today, January the 26th, we're going to talk about the vertical draw clips that are new. So this is the new vertical draw clip on a nightshade. Let's hold it vertical. So here's what's different. They come like this. They don't come with this snap-on screwdriver because they're kind of expensive. So they attach in the same holes on any case as the cross draw horizontal. So you see those holes line up. So this one was a special order for this nightshade. It's a reverse tanto with the coyote Cerakote and smooth black uh, handle scales. Gosh, can't talk. So here's the clip. New for this week. I love it, been working on it for a while. All right, so you take out the screws, right? Take out the screw, set it down. So here's the clip without the case. So it was just mounted here for a right hand draw setup. Take it off. Got two more screws. So you take this screw out. Set it on your bench. A little bit clumsy because I'm watching the camera, not my hands. All right, so the screws are out. If you wanted to do left-handed draw, all you would do, slip the clip over one time. Now, here's another thing. So you've got four holes in this little saddle so you can have it ride lower on your belt or higher on your belt so you've got three quarters of an inch difference so when you flip it over like this you put your screws back in and you can do this faster than me I'm sure if you don't throw the screws on the floor I'm just gonna put one screw in for intents and purposes All right, so now the clip is you just flip it over so by flipping it over it reorients this case where it's now left-handed draw if you can see that anyway imagine this is my belt left-handed draw so now you've got left-handed draw and you can move it up or down this little piece right here rests against the case on the side there to keep it from flopping around and to keep your knife parallel with your body. So that's that. Then if you want to go cross draw, which is how the knives will come if you don't switch it over. So you, you put your screw in, the screws are in the little baggy too. See they're hanging out down in there too. Little screws in there. Then your case becomes the cross draw hidden. So it just hides up on your waist. Included with this. And then there's the, this will be the vertical clip you see on the website. If you add it to your order, it'll come with this on the knife and this in the little baggie. Also in the baggie for the nightshade is the ball chain. So if you notice, there are those two holes up there. So you would just take your ball chain, and I use ball chain, one, because it's the chains are actually made in the USA. I doubt you'll be able to see that on the camera, but it says it right there. And this is the same company that has shipped ball chains to every military service in the United States for, I don't know, since the early 1900s, I think 1908 or something like that. Anyway, you carry a ball chain for a lot of reasons. This is a defensive weapon for most people. I mean, you can use it to open boxes. I got kydex on my face. So it hangs around your neck. And you've got the knife in here. You pull it out, it's easy to get to. Or you can tuck it away, right? So it's gone. But what you don't want is to use paracord because if somebody, you're in a fighting situation, you know, it's hard to lose the nightshade because your hands are locked to it. You got the pinky ring, you have the less than lethal little temple spike glass breaker, or 
you've got the vertical and your fingers in it either way so then you've got your slashes and cuts little inch and a half blade it's all you need but before I get too far off topic the ball chain these are very very strong it's not gonna break just from a simple pull but if somebody's trying to choke you out with your own defensive weapon a ball chain will break away you're still gonna hurt but guess what won't break away 550 cord 550 pounds of pressure that's what the 550 stands for so ball chains are designed to break away in a combative situation or if you're running through the woods and you get your neck hung on a limb which would probably never ever happen but the ball chain is designed to break away but if you buy the really cheap ass ball chain it just snaps when you do simple pressure but see I'm not going to bruise my neck by snatching off, but it will break away before it chokes and kills you. That's the purpose of the ball chain. So, recap. Ball chain included. Holes are there. Cross straw little clip. This is inch and three quarter wide, so you can do duty belts or your wide. I wear a military rigor style belt. Tactical looking belt thingy. Vertical. Left or right handed. So, that's your multiple carry options. Your knife is ready for you. You throw screws on the floor. So that's about it for today. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks again. Bye.